What's up guys, it's Garvin's Garage here and today we're putting on a fuel filter and changing the fuel filters on a Ram 2500 Cummins Diesel 2014. Okay, now we're going to drain the water and diesel that are that's in the fuel filter currently at the moment and then we're going to unscrew it and take it off. But that's the front of the truck, here's the drive shaft. And it's directly above the drive shaft. So this is what you want to drain. You just unscrew it. So you spin it. And then stuff will start falling out. Now you grab this big fat wrench and you put it on the plastic um, hex right here and then you unscrew it and you gotta watch out fuel will fall on you that's why I'm wearing my nicest clothes okay once you've unscrewed this <clears throat> with just like a normal oil filter universal wrench you just what I use is a rubber thing I just unscrew it and then you unplug this you push this down and s pull back and it just comes out and then once once you have it out put it in a vise I already did and I already loosened it but you just un you just unscrew this and then you put it onto the new filter which we'll be doing in one second Okay, now that you've unscrewed this, you need to change out this gasket with this gasket right here. And then you need to thread it back on. And then you need to put it back on the truck once you've installed the, the larger O-ring right there. Okay, now we're taking off this and putting on a new one. So, there we go. Now you put on the new oiled one, very nicely, nicely and gently. Now you thread this onto the the new fuel filter. Now that I put this on, now you gotta reinstall it on the truck as as hard as hand tight as you can. And after you put this ring on by oiling it and just setting it on, you thread it on as hard as you can hand tight, plug this in, and you're good. Okay, now I'm going to screw this on as tight as I can, hand tight, and then plug this in. Now you plug in the cord. And now you tighten this as tight as you can. And then we're set. Hey guys, now that we finished the rear fuel filter, now we're on the front one. The front one's located right here right there that bolt that I'm pointing at right now and it um it's a 29 millimeter or a one and one eighth inch socket and you just all you need is this and then you can reach in there and then unscrew it 
and it takes a little bit and then we're gonna remove a seal and then replace it because it comes with a fuel filter and then it, and then you just pull out the old one and install the new one it's pretty it's like common sense so it's pretty simple and then you just screw it back on so yeah